the Lord and welcome to this Sunday morning worship with Beulah Refuge Tabernacle and the First Refuge of Barnwell. Service will begin momentarily. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We will now have our call to worship this morning with our opening musical hymnal by Brother Jonathan Hampton, followed by our opening prayer and scripture by our assistant pastor of First Refuge of Barnwell, Elder Donald Danner. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come on before you, thanking and praising you for being the God that you are. Thanking you, God, for keeping us in a time when social unrest and racial tensions are on the rampage. We thank you for the distance that you brought us through in this pandemic. We pray now for all of the families that have lost their lives that have lost jobs, those that are sitting there, waiting on your mercy and your grace to prevail. We pray for those that are in hospitals and on ventilators all over the land. Now, God, we ask that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer bless us this day god you know the purpose for which we come if ever jesus name amen our scripture lesson is coming from the book of joshua it's now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, 
my servant is dead. Now therefore rise and go to the city and bow and all the land which I do give to them even to the children of Israel. And every place the soul of your foot shall tread upon that I've given unto you as I said unto Moses from the wilderness and this Lebanon even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. And as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor fail thee. Be strong and of courage, for unto this people shall thou divide an inheritance, the land which I swear unto them with the fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do all according to the law which Moses I said commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand nor to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, then thou shalt have good success. May the Lord add a blessing already blessed you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord and welcome to Beulah Refuge Tabernacle. Let's put our hands together and bless the name of Jesus because we've come to bless his name. We've come to worship him. We've come to adore him. We've come to magnify his name because we are all soldiers in the army of the Lord. Come on, put your hands together in your house. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a sanctified soldier. I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier. I've got my own clothes on. Got my Pray the Lord. 
the name of Jesus and we magnify his wonderful and adorable name, Lord Jesus Christ. At this time, we will now have a special presentation by our co-president of the pastor's aid department, our sister Letitia Mitchell. God bless you and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I would like to wish our Bishop Alfred Smith and our Mother Betty Smith a happy 34th pastoral anniversary. Um, indeed, it is a pleasure to have you as my pastor and my mother. Thank you for always being there for us during the 34 years of pastoral ministry and leadership. I pray God give the grace and mercy that shall follow you both all the days of your life. Although we did not get together, but this special occasion started not robbery to celebrate you. Thank you all who participated and helping us to bring forth this special praise the lord everyone i am so delighted to join you in this wonderful wonderful celebration of the 34th pastoral anniversary of Bishop David A. Smith and uh, Shepherd Mother Betty J. Smith, uh, two godly uh, persons, uh, very, very present in the ministry in Region 8 uh, in South Carolina. I've uh, long admired Bishop uh, Smith's presence and his uh, uh, ministry and the way he presents himself as a leader among men and I'm so happy that he has uh, uh, been blessed by the Lord to see the work that he started 34 years ago blossom into a very strong and powerful presence uh, in South Carolina as your presider I just want you to know my prayers are with you I am uh, so grateful that God has sustained you. I've heard your testimony and was so profoundly moved by the testimony at the National Convocation where God stepped in and did a mir miracle uh, for you because God knew that your work was not done. And we're so grateful. Uh, please know that Mother Clark and I are praying for you and looking forward to the day we can break away from virtual and see one another again be encouraged my friend uh, just know uh, that uh, my vision and the work i'm trying to implement during my tenure uh depends to a great extent on your spiritual counsel and presence among us i pray that the lord will continue to add to your number and strengthen you in this great work in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ god bless you enjoy your celebration Hope to see you sometime after the pandemic. God bless you, my friend. Oh, you blood that gives me strength from day to day. He will never lose his power. Oh, it reaches beyond the highest mountain and it flows. Beneath the lowest valley, oh, his blood that gives me strength from day to day, he will never lose his power, he will never lose his power. Truly give honor this morning to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. Praise God. Thank you, praise God, for my last night laying down of an early rising this morning. And we want to say to our beloved Miss Dyson, David A. Smith, Shepherd Mother Smith this morning, praise God. I want to wish you, mine, got many more years 
and your anniversary that you have many more and that you continue to strive and to do God's will as you be the keepers of God, as you shepherd over all of us in the precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm speaking to half about my pastor and his first lady. A uh, very, very beautiful first lady. One I love dearly, and the whole family, really. And special my pastor. My pastor is a beautiful, wonderful man that any way that he can help us, he will do so. Praise for us all the time. He always says, I always keep y'all in my prayers. So even when something happens, I don't all it because I know that he is perfect for the whole family. And Pastor, I wish you Smith and Shepherd Mother uh, Betty Smith. Uh, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and congratulate you uh, in your pastoral anniversary for the work that you and Mother Smith are doing uh, in the um, upstate diocese uh, for the work at your pastor, Bula Refuge uh, Temple. We certainly thank God uh, for you and your strong stand uh, in the in the gospel doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. The support uh, to the church of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, has been admirable, and we thank you for your continual support and the work and labor uh, that you present uh, to the church of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, over the years. Your diligent, strong stand uh, on the doctrine, and we thank you for it. For your leadership over the pastors of the upstate diocese, and how you guide and lead them by example. So we appreciate you. And uh, on behalf of uh, my wife, Mother Jackson, who could not be here this time, I uh, extend to you and Mother Smith. Congratulations, and I uh, hope you live to see many more anniversaries as you continue to work with our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to close this with a word from the scripture uh, for those who are listening and understanding, and I uh, want to thank those who has uh, took the thought to put this together again uh, to honor you and Mother Shepherd, Mother Smith. It comes from First Timothy uh, chapter five, verse seventeen and eighteen, and it reads, "Let the elder, elder that rule well, be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor and in the word and doctrine." For the Scripture says. They that thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the labor is worthy of his reward. And you certainly are, and we thank God for you. And uh, we pray God's continual blessing upon you and the work that you're doing. God bless you. Bless you, sir. Praise the Lord, Bishop Smith. Mother Smith. And the Mueller Tabernacle family, we thank God so very much for you on the celebration of your 34th pastor's anniversary. It just seemed like yesterday that we were down there for the dedication of the new church. And we praise God that you invited me to be a part of your services. And I spoke at the Shop Rider uh, Center. 
and Bishop Bonnet dedicated the church on that Saturday. We wish you many more celebrations, many more anniversaries. We're in our prayers. God bless you. Have a smile, God bless you. Praise the Lord and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to Bishop David Smith and Shepherd Mother Betty Jean Smith. I thank God for you and for the blessings that you have been to our family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and particularly for the last 34 years minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, pastoring God's people, leading them in the way of the Lord. Thank God for you. The Lord has blessed you with three lovely daughters, and they have contributed so much to the ministry in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. To their singing ministry, they have blessed thousands over the years. We praise God for you, and I celebrate with you your 34 years of ministry in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, and many, many more years of praising God and blessing his people in Jesus' name. Bless you. Praise the Lord, Pastor and Shepherd Mother Smith. We are so proud of you. You are in our prayers, and you will always be in our prayers. We thank God that you are allowing God to order your steps and leading his people at a time such as this. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you and congratulations to both of you on your 34th pastor anniversary, which is most deserved in Jesus name. God bless you. Man. To Bishop David and Shepherd Mother Betty Smith. As you celebrate 34 years of pastoral ministry during this time of pandemic, civil unrest, and of course, great turmoil, I'd like to offer you a few encouraging words. I believe it's Psalms 34 in the latter clause of verse 10, the Amplified Version states, but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. For 34 years, you sought God on the behalf of your family, and of course your church family of Bueller and all of the additional churches. And in this time, please know that you will lack nothing and that the God we serve will provide all the provisions for you. Of course, you know that you mean the world to me. You are an awesome man of God, and I appreciate you and love you. And we here in this Refuge Temple family celebrate you for serving 34 wonderful years. God bless you. Can't wait to see you. And in the words of our pastor, Shalom, Shalom. Good evening and praise the Lord. Bishop Richard Johnson, Dr. Peggy Ethics Johnson here. We wanted to wish Bishop David Smith and Shepherd Mother Betty Smith, a very happy 34th pastoral anniversary. We are just as excited as you are about what God is doing in your life, and we want you to know that we're praying for you, and God bless you. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. God bless you. God has bestowed upon you the gift of service, and you are a blessing to the kingdom. We pray that this will be a time of celebration for you and God will shine his glory upon you as you celebrate the great goodness of God upon your ministry. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord and God bless you, Bishop Smith. This is Pastor and Lady Myers. So glad to join you during this time of anniversary. I know we're not able to be together, uh, but we do appreciate you. Thank God for your ministry down through the years. I love your preaching. I love your teaching. I love how you carry yourself in the ministry. We have great admiration for you. Thank you for the relationship we've had uh, down through the years, starting with my father. I appreciate you for being his friend. Thank you for being our friend here, uh, even in Hopkins. Uh, we want to say God bless you. Uh, I still remember that message you first spoke in Hopkins, and we shall wear white. 
I want to say thank God for you. I want to uh, thank God also for uh, Shepherd Mother Smith uh, and, and your work in the ministry. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you until we're able to come together again. God bless. Happy anniversary to you. One, you all, we just want to say praise the Lord to our advancing Bishop Bishop Smith and Mother Smith. We thank God for this great occasion to talk about you all on this great anniversary. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and give you many more. And we thank God for you. We love you. And then we thank God because truly we will find that you as a brother, you as a friend, and you as a man of God that we trust and believe that you're going to continue to lead us in the right direction. And we love you. And we're praying that God will continue to bless you and many, many more anniversaries. We thank God for you. We love you. Shout out to my sister, Mother Smith. We love you and we're praying for you all. We thank God for you and congratulate you on your anniversary today. Praise the Lord, Bishop. This is Elder John Mosley. I just want to thank you for being my diocese bishop. And you and Mother Shepherd, praise the Lord. I pray that y'all will have a beautiful 34th anniversary. I would like to have been there, but nevertheless, my God, I can still pray for you. And I pray that God's blessing will be upon you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I pray that God will give you the desires of your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord God, would continue to lead you and guide you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I asked you the other day, I said, how are you feeling, Bishop? You say, I feel like a toothache. But nevertheless, I pray that God will pull that tooth, that the aches and pain will go away. But nevertheless, Bishop, hold on. Hold on. There are some better days ahead of you. And I hope, praise the Lord, that we will meet again. If we don't meet no more down here, I pray that God will we meet up there in heaven. So God bless you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ is my prayer in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, Bishop. I'm going to you we have yet to come to you via video on today, and we want to well, celebrate the 34th Church of God's anniversary. We thank God for you, God for the year, how you will be great inspiration to us as you are, and we thank God for your leadership and position of the Black and We celebrate with them and also with the Black and White Church of the Four for our anniversary. Mother and Bishop, we just like to say congratulations. On 34 years in the ministry, and God well done. Happy, happy, happy anniversary. I love you, and I love you. May God continue to bless you too. In the ministry, and Jesus' name. Thank you. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you to our God system, our Bishop Smith, and our Shepherd Mother Smith. Very first pastoral anniversary. We want to say congratulations. We love you both doing an awesome job. And we are so happy just to be witnesses of how God is working in your life. We love you both and we bid you God speak. Happy anniversary, Bishop and Mother Shepherd Mother Dave Smith. We love you guys so much. We pray that God continue to bless you for so many more years to come to Jesus' name. We love you. Kiss. Um, 
of my heart to yours in this day. So we love you. Happy Thanksgiving anniversary. Enjoy your day. Praise the Lord, Bishop Smith and Shepherd Mother Betty Smith. He brings your greeting from District 2, uh, the Rector New Calvary Church. It was truly Bishop Elder Jamie Bradley and also Rector Temple Holly Hill, pastor by District Elder Harold Young. It is our great joy to share with the both of you on your 34th pastoral anniversary. Bishop, we appreciate your love. We appreciate all that you've done for this diocese. We thank God for you, the man of God that you are. We certainly um, view the scripture that is in first timothy 5 and 17 which says let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor this scripture is very befitting of you because you have the tenacity spirit about yourself our upstate has grown tremendously because of your ministry, because of your love, because of your stick to itness. And we are very proud of you. Many things that you have said, one thing in particular that I remember well is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And with that being said, Bishop, we said that we are seeing your heart and you care a lot. And we certainly pray God continue with blessings upon you and your ministry and certainly to our shepherd mother, Betty Jean Smith. God bless you, we love you, and may this anniversary be the greatest in spite of this pandemic, coronavirus that we are against. Praise the Lord, Bishop Smith. See how it happened here. We're wishing you and the Bureau Church a happy 34th anniversary. We're wishing that you have many more and continue to be blessed in Jesus' name. Happy anniversary, Bishop and Mother Smith. Happy anniversary, Papa and Grandma. We love you. Praise the Lord and good morning to everyone. I just want to take this time to say congratulations to you, Mom and Dad, and Mother Smith. But I would say my most proud thing to call you. Not that we always aren't together, God, but we hear people say, Oh, I'm going to say, Those two names mean so much because it shows the discipleship part. I talk to people and you know, I say, help me, it's the day, it's the day, it's the day, it's such a kind person, it's a helpful person, and to me and my child are with me, so I can't even say, oh, I just love this day, she's beautiful, and I have my children, all of them show us a great discipleship of the day, but the day of Christ might be challenged and I think that's exactly who you are, great people, who love people, and I just want to say congratulations to you, and I am so proud to you. I pray God's choice blessings in your life and that God continues to add years to your life and life to your years. Love you so much. Keep doing what you're doing for this year. God definitely is going to continue to bless you. Love you. Bye. 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 Quite a job. Go out and put a few days back. You can 
Maybe the group was meeting very thankful you got it. Happy anniversary, Bishop Smith and Mother Smith. God bless you. We're sure that 34 years of pastoring has not been easy for you, but we always want you to remember we love you. Happy anniversary, Bishop and Mother Smith. God is good all the time. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Jesus. Reverend Mother Betty Smith, I thank God for the wonderful, wonderful uh, leadership that you've had, that you've shown Beulah for these 34 years. I thank God for me being able to be a part of it all. Now, I know that I am your sister-in-law. But I feel more like you are my spiritual parents, and I thank God for it. I thank the Lord for how you bless my family, me and my family, down through the years, and have been there for us through, through every victory, through every concern. You have been there. And it is my prayer that you have many, many more years in the ministry. God bless you. I honor you today. And congratulations. This is Sandy Wright. God bless you. I want to take a minute to just congratulate you on 34 years of being a reference tabernacle. Thank you so much for being a, a perfect example of what a pastor and first lady should be, and also a perfect example of what a couple should be in reference to guidance as an uncle and an aunt. So today, I thank you, I honor you, and I love you. Congratulations. All right. Hello, Bishop and Mother David and Ben Smith. Congratulations on your years of service, and may God bless y'all with double, uh, double strength, physically, double strength spiritually. And God bless y'all and all that y'all hands have been assigned to do in Jesus' name. We love y'all. Amen. Uh, my brother. Bishop David Smith, my favorite sister-in-law, uh, Shepherd Mother Betty. God bless you both. You've been laboring in the vineyard. May God continue to keep you. May he continue to give you all wisdom and the strength and the fervor, hallelujah, to do the will of the Lord. God bless you. God bless your family, your church family, that y'all continue to grow in the Lord. Be blessed. We love you. Love y'all. Bye now. Hi, this is Charles Johnny's, and this video message is for Pastor David Smith and his beautiful wife, or as he calls her, and so many others do as well, Shepherd Mother, First Lady of Beulah Tabernacle. I'd like to thank you, David, and your beautiful wife and family for being there for Mrs. Smith, my wife, Luella, and our family out here so many times. Uh, you all have been there to take our phone calls in our time of trouble and frustration, need, and joy, things we wanted to share with the man of God. You've been there for us. And we thank you for that. You prayed for us, and we thank you. And we also recognize the church of our Lord Jesus Christ for allowing you to gain so much wisdom and experience in the opportunities that they have offered you. Obviously, you've accepted them, and you've done very well. And I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you and I wish you all the best. We appreciate you as well as 
as, as though we were just right there in the congregation all the time. And if there's anything we can ever do for you all, please do not hesitate to call upon us. I mean, uh, of course, we don't understand exactly all the things we could do, but what we could do, we're willing to do. And that's that's just the way it is. You know, so want to get on the plane and come on out here to California and have some fun in the sun? Don't hesitate. I mean, we got a lot of smoky fires out here right now, but hey, I think you'll enjoy it anyway. Anyway, we love you, and God bless. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. And you have so many beautiful people around you. I don't even know what to say. God bless. God bless you, and God bless you again and again. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, everyone. This is especially to my brother, Bishop David Smith. It is indeed an honor to be a part of this great celebration. I don't have the words to express what I feel at this particular moment. But I must say, brother, you've done a mighty work as the leader of this great congregation. You and your lovely bride. You all have put your hands to the plow. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much for being my godparents, God, mommy, God, daddy. I love you guys so much. Um, to my godfather, you're such a great, great father. Such a great, great godfather. And I really appreciate you. God, mommy, I love you so much. You're such a great God, mommy, and first lady. So not only me, but to my congregation. Um, you tell it like it is, and that's how we do it. And I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for both of you, Mr. Smith and Mother Smith, for being in our life for 31 years. We thank and praise you, Lord, for all the beautiful things that you have done for us. We all wish that you would have many, many, many more anniversaries and that the Lord continue to bless and keep you and give you We love you. We love you. Can I say it again? My name is Brother Henry Huggins. My name is Sister Mary Huggins. We <laughs> wish Diocese <laughs> Bishop David Albert Smith and Shepherd Mother Betty Smith a happy and blessed 34th anniversary. Pastor's anniversary. God bless. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Bishop and Mother Smith. We bring you greetings from Barnwell, South Carolina. On behalf of all of the saints of First Refuge of Barnwell, we wish you a happy 34th pastoral anniversary. We thank you for being a great pastor and a great teacher and just an overall wonderful example of a child of God. We thank you for all of the sacrifices you made over the years for us, traveling that long, uh, sometimes dark road, mostly alone. We thank you, Mother Smith, and the rest of your family for the sacrifices you made also in sharing this with us. Uh, we're sorry that we cannot be there in person, but we know that when we all get together again, what a time it will be. Again, uh, happy anniversary, and we love you, and God bless you. Happy anniversary, and we love you very, 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 very much. We love you. Praise the Lord and greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, it is a privilege and a pleasure to address uh, Bishop David Smith on this his pastoral anniversary. I have known you down through the years and thank God for your ministry, your labor of love towards the saints, and your desire to be in the will of God. The Bible says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the breaking of bread, uh, fellowship, and prayers. Continue, my brother, to love the Lord. Continue to love and be a father to the saints. Continue 
to the rapture ready and uh, the blessings of God be upon your life in Jesus' name. In heaven to stay, but thank God I didn't lose everything. I've got amazing people who said they can. In the time of my crisis, they were never there. But in my disappointment, in my season of pain, one thing never wavered, one thing never changed. I never lost my hope. I never lost my Again, truly indeed, it was a pleasure to um, present this to our pastor, and I hope and pray, Pastor and, for, and our mother, our first lady, I pray that you all enjoy the presentation. Um, COVID can stop us, okay? So we really appreciate you throughout the years and everything you're doing. Continue to do it, and you will be blessed. Continue to be blessed. 
Um, I pray God's blessings over your life. Now we will have a sermonic selection by my sister, Sister Denise Simpson. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everyone. Indeed, it's an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning, for he is a good and merciful God. He is a loving and kind God. And we are so grateful to him for all that he has done and all that he is going to continue to do. And because of that, our hearts are truly grateful to him. Our hearts are grateful to our Lord and our Savior because he is a wonderful and merciful father. And because of those things, we want to say thank you to him. We want to let him know that we are truly grateful. We want him to know yes, and for all the many blessings that he has given unto us. We say thank you, Father. You are a good father. And our hearts are truly thankful. We say happy anniversary to our pastor and our first lady because we know that their hearts are grateful on this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Put your hands together and let's begin to worship the, the name of Jesus in your homes. I am grateful for the things you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we won. I could go on and on and on. About your word, because I'm grateful, grateful, grateful just to praise you, Lord. Flowing from my heart are the issues of my heart is gratefulness come on everybody let's worship because i know that you're grateful because you're here on today I, oh god yes i am oh god yes i am i am grateful god I am grateful for the things you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the victories we won. I could go on and on and on about your word because I'm grateful, grateful, grateful just to praise you, Lord. Yes, I am, Father. Hallelujah. Flowing from my heart are the issues of my heart is gratefulness. Yes, Father, hallelujah. Grateful, 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 grateful. I'm so grateful, 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 grateful. Oh, my heart is grateful. It's flowing from my heart. I'm grateful, God. I'm grateful, God. Yes, I am. Grateful, 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 grateful. Gratefulness. It's flowing from my heart. 
Oh, anybody in your home, are you grateful to God? Just open up your mouth and say, God, I am grateful. Grateful, 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 gratefulness is flowing from my heart. Grateful, 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 grateful. I'm grateful for right now, God. Grateful, grateful. All the many blessings that you bestowed, God, I am grateful. Oh, it's flowing from my heart. For where I am, God, I'm grateful, God, yes. All the issues of my heart. Oh, 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 oh. Flowing, flowing from my heart oh, oh. are the issues of my heart is gratefulness. Lord, we bless you, we magnify you, we love and we exalt your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say praise the Lord to everyone. First of all, we'd like to give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then we'd like to give honor to this great man, God, and the person, Bishop David A. Smith, the wonderful person that stood by him during the test of time, Shepherd Mother Betty Smith. And of course, we'd like to give honor to my wife and First and only lady, Sister Latanya Danner. We bless the Lord at all times. It is an honor to be asked to speak on this 34th anniversary. The theme for this occasion is looking for the promise to be filled in 2020. We have high hopes. We're looking for change. We've already read the scripture in your hearing, but we'd like to focus on verse number five from Joshua, chapter number one. We'd like to focus on this verse that says, They shall not be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, and as I was with Moses. So will I be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. My topic today is a time of reflection. A time of reflection. Joshua is. No stranger there. Joshua was born as a slave while the Israelites were in Egypt. And I also think that during this time that Joshua probably heard the promises that God made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob concerning the land promised to them. And now God tells Moses that this is the land that he put unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, and thou shalt not go thither. So you know the story that Moses died there, and his sepulchre is not known unto this day. 
Now the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plain of Moab for a period of 30 days. In Exodus chapter 12 is where we find God raising up Moses. Moses at 40 received his divine instructions to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. We aren't certain of the route that he took towards the Red Sea since he was being led by God. It looks as if they were going southward down from the direct path that would lead them directly to Canaan land because sometimes God takes us in different directions. That's the reason why the Bible says, for as many as are led by God, by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. In Exodus chapter number 17 is where Joshua was introduced. When he came up to battle against the Amalekites, God wanted them to step out on faith and trust them. As here we find Moses giving uh, Joshua instructions, telling him to gather the men, some of the men, lead them into battle. And you know the story of how uh, it was when, uh, whenever Moses would hold up his hands, um, Israel would prevail. And when he would let his hands down, uh, Amalek would prevail. So they put a stone under him, and when his hands got heavy, and Aaron and Ur would stay his hands, one on one side and one on the other, the Amalekites were defeated. So for a word of encouragement to build a refuge, tabernacle and first refuge of Bongo, uh, let's get up under the demand of God and to all of the other saints that are under his diocese and hold them up with our prayers, with our faith and obedience to the word of God and watch God change things. If you're looking for things to change, for the promises to be filled in 2020, then you have to be obedient to the word of God. Joshua becomes the general uh, of the army, Moses' right-hand man, if you please. So he leads the people to Mount Sinai so that God could meet them, give them the law. Now, Joshua was 20 years old, and Moses was 40 years old. And he went into the tabernacle with Moses. God told Moses uh, to bless Joshua. Lay hands on him if you please. Joshua ended up being 40 years old and Moses 80 years old uh, during the exodus out of Egypt. Joshua was 80 years old when he led them into the land of Canaan. Moses was 110 years old when he died. We know from this name Joshua, something good comes out of it because Joshua means uh, Jehovah is salvation. Actually, the same word in the New Testament in the book of Hebrews, chapter number four, verse eight is translated Jesus. Moses was a man of prayer, a man of courage, a man of dependence on God, a man of faith. He had leadership, enthusiasm, and fidelity. He was also considered the type of Christ in both his name and his work. It's good when your work speaks with your name. I found, come to find these same qualities in Bishop Smith. Definitely, he is a man of integrity and have often heard him speak about the support and comfort that he gets from Shepherd. Mother Smith, also known as Betty. It's a saying that behind every great man is a great woman. So we come to honor them for their labor of love. In Exodus chapter 19 and verse 20, and, 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 and chapter 20, you'll also find Moses and Joshua being mentioned together. It's like Moses is his mentor, and of course he was. But they come to a place called Kadesh Barnea, and something different happens. 
They are right at the point of crossing over into Canaan land when God stops them and tell them to send 12 spies in to assess the land. And strangely, one of them turned out to be Joshua. So the spies go in and they explore the land and come back. It was 40 days that they explored it with two different reports. Ten of them come back and said, well, we see men over there that are like giants and we don't stand a chance. They're too big, they're too strong. But Joshua and Caleb had a different report. And they challenged the people to do what we're challenging you to do in this pandemic and in this time that uh, you've got to trust God. You've got to believe that God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you could ask or even think according to the power that worketh in us. Uh, but we thank God for the word. So it ends up with God telling them that if they didn't step out, that they would not see. On faith, they would not see the promised land. So as the story goes, they ended up wandering 40 years outside of the land of Canaan. I got to study this thing a little bit, and I said, you know, Canaan was a promised land. But the sad part about it is that after they get into Canaan, and when they ever they arrive in Canaan, they still would have to fight. Uh, somebody said, well, what's so glorious about getting to a place where you still got to fight? Well, the Bible said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Uh, we're still fighting battles. We're fighting battles every day, but I want to encourage uh, Bishop Smith uh, that even during this pandemic, the pandemonium, times that we're living in uh, to be encouraged because God has got his hands on you and he says no one can pluck you out of my hand. Uh, it was strange that all of the children that came out of Egypt, that all the ones 20 years and older would end up even dying because of their rebelling. Uh, it is predicted that Joshua recorded uh, the book in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, the death of Moses. I'm sure that Moses did not write his life story out. So Joshua recorded it just as Phineas did uh, the last book of Joshua concerning his death. Uh, God is no respect the person, and when he speaks, it becomes law. Uh, Moses had uh, a rough time with the children of Israel trying uh, to get them to believe that God was able to deliver them. Uh, I tell you right now, you pastors, uh, it takes something to be a strong leader these days uh, because you're dealing with people and sometimes they want to go and sometimes uh, they, they don't want to go. Uh, sometimes they want to do right and sometimes they don't want to do right. We all have reflections. Uh, reflections are good. I can think of many uh, reflections, but uh, some of them are good and some of them are not so good. But regardless to what reflection we have, we are sinners that are saved by grace. Uh, I heard David's testimony that said, I was young and now I'm old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And now his seeds bringing bread. Uh, being a leader, a pastor, is just not easy uh, when people can't see the direction that God has given you. Uh, they tend to be like it was with Moses. They told Moses that we should have stayed in Egypt. Uh, you brought us out here to die, but that's because they did not understand uh, the directions, a time of reflection. So Moses is being in direct order to God to lead them to the promised land. He had an assignment 
uh, that would cause you to follow God or relinquish your position. Uh, sometimes when you get into this thing uh, called ministry, this thing, amen, you find out, amen, that some uh, people are just uh, kind of tough to deal with. Uh, they were only set aside when things were going their way. However, uh, any time there was a change, there was a problem. Uh, God would speak and they'd want to hear from Moses. Moses would speak and they'd want to hear back from God. Most people are not volatile. They don't, they don't like change. So whenever God would direct Moses to do something different, they would murmur and complain. But God would always stand by his word. So we find here that Moses is no longer on the scene. And his successor Joshua is in charge. Sometimes promotions are good and sometimes they come with headaches. Uh, so be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. Uh, even though Moses was dead and, and they acted as if they would mourn for eternity, uh, when they didn't want to follow his directions and even cause him to miss out on going into the promised land. But God stops their mourning and gives uh, the new leader some instructions that would get them where they was headed. He tells Joshua to trust me, believe me, and don't be dismayed. For remember how I took care of Moses despite what the people went through. He tells Joshua, let this be a reflection for as I was with Moses, uh, so will I be with thee. The one that has kept David after Smith uh, going strong has been, amen, a God that stands by his word. I'm quite sure that he's had some rough days. I'm quite sure he's had some days uh, that he might have felt like he'd given up, but he says, I will trust in the Lord until I die. I hear God saying uh, to Bishop Smith this morning, fight on, stay in the race and keep the faith. Uh, he encourages uh, Joshua by telling him, I'm going, not going to leave you. I will not forsake you. Hallelujah. I'm going to be with you. And I'm not going to allow anybody else uh, to stand before you in all of your time. Amen. But I want you to get to the land that I promise you. Hallelujah. And only be thou strong and courageous. Hallelujah. I hear him say, meditate therein. Day and night, I and I will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So, my friends, if you are looking for uh, the promise to be filled in 2020, uh, you're going to have to get in line with the word of God. Uh, you're going to have to get in line and stay there. No matter how bad things look right now, Jesus said, "This world, uh, in this world, you shall have troubles, uh, but I've already overcome the world. So don't surround morning, but rise up. Amen. From where you are, get up from where you are. Amen. And start looking for that blessed hope, uh, a time of reflections. Uh, start looking for this pandemic uh, to be a thing of the past. Start looking for a bright future. God's got you in mind, like he said in Jeremiah 29 and 11, he says, I know the thoughts that I have toward you, and they are not thoughts of evil, Amen, but to give you an expected end. Uh, hallelujah. Start looking for the things that God has promised you because he's not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should even have to repent. Uh, amen. Thank God for the word this morning. If you're looking for the promise uh, to be filled in 20. 20, remember that I have not seen nor have ever heard the things that God has prepared for you. If he did it before, uh, he can do it again. Keep the faith.
and hold on. This is a time of a reflection, and I, I have a reflection, amen, of being a sinner. Hallelujah. I was a sinner. I'm no longer a sinner anymore, but I have, amen, a reflection, amen, of what it was like, amen, working for the other master. Now, I'm going to tell you that Satan had no problem with uh, I did everything that he told me to do. Hallelujah. But one day, uh, I went to a church, and I know uh, some of you think this is the old song that they used to sing, says, I went to a meeting one night, and my heart wasn't right, and something uh, got a hold of me. I remember going to a church uh, back up in the woods, the cross swamps of Arlington, South Carolina, and I remember August of 19. 79, going to attend a Bible class. Did not know uh, that that was going to be uh, when God changed my heart. Thank God for the word, and thank God I have a reflection, amen, of what it was like being in that service when the man of God was just standing there preaching, amen, from the book of Acts, amen, and I heard him say, hallelujah, that if you repent and, and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus, that God would fill you with the Holy Ghost. I, I heard that scripture, and uh, while he was yet uh, teaching from that scripture, I got up and walked toward the altar. Amen. And one of the deacons met me as I was walking toward the altar. And before he could ask me what was going on, I want to tell you that I started speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave me utterance. It was a time of reflection. I'm telling you, amen, that you got to do it God's way. You can't come to God being pretty. You got to, amen, somebody said you got to get ugly sometimes. Uh, thank you when you're trying, amen, to get the Holy Ghost. You can't uh, be all sedity. I had to let go and let God. It was a time of reflection, amen, because Satan, amen, that dirty rascal, amen, was trying to show me, on the other hand, that uh, I'd be giving up, amen, what I had going on in the world. But let me tell you that the best thing, that could have happened, amen, was for me to get the Holy Ghost. And I want to encourage you, saints of God, I want to tell you to hold on. Bishop David Smith is a great preacher. He is a great teacher. Thank God for the wife that he had that shows other women how to be good to their husbands. Hallelujah, because there are some mean saints out there. Hallelujah, I'm talking about some that got the Holy Ghost. They mean as a rattlesnake, but thank God he has a loving, kind, woman that's dedicated to the work of God and you heard through the testimony, you heard through the accolades given to them amen, how much she's respected it's a time of reflection but God tells uh, uh, Joshua ah, Moses, my servant is dead, you got to rise and go over this Jordan, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread, hallelujah it's going to be your land Hallelujah. But he said, as I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. You just got to hold on and thank God. Amen. For us holding on 34 years. Hallelujah. This man has labored. Hallelujah. It takes a good man. Hallelujah, to be able, amen, to last that long. Amen, some of them are not lasting 34 days and 34 months, but 34 years. Amen, the God of his salvation. Hallelujah, said David Smith, I'm going to be with you. Hallelujah, all as long as you hold on to God's unchanging hand, you can look to the hill like David did. Hallelujah, from which cometh your help. Hallelujah, I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to make a way for you. God bless him. In the name of Jesus, a time of reflection. So God tell Joshua, you don't have to worry. As I was with Moses, 
so will I be with you. And he's saying that same thing to Bishop Smith this morning as I was with Moses. So will I be with David A. Smith. Hallelujah. I'm going to be there when you call me, David. I'm going to answer. Hallelujah. Because I know your labor. Amen. I know what you stand for. I know what you believe in. Hallelujah. And you've done a great job of leading the people to this point. Hallelujah. Some of them uh, going to stay with you and you know some, hallelujah, going to leave. But uh, the one that leaves, uh, amen, let them go. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, God is a God, amen, that's going to take care of us. I thank God for the word today. I thank God for this man of God, amen. I love him as a brother, amen. He has been, amen, a mentor to me, hallelujah, in the word. He's been an encourager, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Shepherd Mother Smith. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless First Refuge, uh, Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, and First Refuge of Barnum. God bless this whole diocese, the whole ministry of God, until we can come back. Amen. When God releases this thing, and when we all uh, come back, and when we all, like the song says, when we all get together. What a day of rejoicing, amen, that that's going to be when all the saints of God, amen, get together, amen, we're going to have a shouting good time, we're going to shout the victory, can I get somebody to say hallelujah, thank God for the blood, amen, a time of reflection, amen, God bless you, amen, saints of God, God bless you, amen, people of God, we love you, in Jesus' name, we solicit your prayers, amen, we're looking for God to do a great thing, amen, in us, God bless you, and God keep you, in Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for just a uh, blessed word, um, Elder Danner, on today. Um, I want to read a scripture real quick, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall come up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and walk and not be encouraged, Bishop and Mother Smith. Stay in the race and keep the race. I will give you an expected end in 2020. Now we will have our Bishop and Mother Smith come forward with our words on today. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. Thank Ella Gatton for a mighty word this morning. I want to thank God for all of you that uh, are listening this morning. Praise God for you. Thank God for serving a God that's able to do all things. There's no doubt in my mind that God is able to do anything but fail. Love him today. Thank the Lord for how we were so blessed to see so many uh, loved ones, uh, people of God, uh, giving remarks today. We're living in a, a pandemic, but it's really amazing how we... Uh, are able to touch and see people that we haven't would have not ever would have not been able to do this if it was not through uh, uh, because the, because of the pandemic it gives us an opportunity to to see people and that we haven't seen in quite a while we were truly blessed and amazed uh, what technology will allow us to do these days it's a truly amazed I want to say i love you all for all your efforts and all of your things that you do to build the kingdom of god even though it's a pandemic you determined within your heart that he's not going to disconnect you from the people of god we may not be able to uh touch each other uh as we desire to and fellowship with you and uh 
hug you as we desire, but God knows how to yet let us be able to see each other and to show our love. We love you for it. Praise God for the committee, for their desires and and their technology ability and the ability to get the work done. I want to say we love you and we pray for you all daily. Uh, it's not a day go by, hardly a day go by, that I don't remember the people of God from Beulah and from First Refuge of Bonwell, that I don't call the churches out and ask God to bless them, to make ways for them and open doors for them. I want to say I love you today with all my heart and with all that's within me. Looking for God to do great things among us, the people of God. And I know that he will, and I know that he can. And we just can stay the course and walk the walk. God will truly do it. Thank God for our pastor, praise the Lord, for 34 years of journeying with the Lord. Uh, it's not always easy. And it's, it's not always, things don't always come as you desire, but it has to be your determination to walk with Jesus. And whatever is due unto you in due season, God surely will do it. He's that kind of God. He's able to open doors, make ways that you thought not ever would be done. I know what God can do. I'm not, I have no doubt in my mind that the ability of God, and he will bring his word to visibility in your life. I love you all. I pray for you all. I pray for the ministries, praise the Lord. I pray for those that are calling on the name of Jesus, that God would ever keep you, and that you will always be the loving, kind people that God has called you to be. Love you now. Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly bless the Lord today. We do magnify the Lord, our God and our Savior. We thank him for being just who he is, so sweet to me. I thank God for the song that was playing in the background by Sister B Vanessa Bell Armstrong. i never forget many years ago, traveling to Greenwood, South Carolina for a state convocation. That song came on the radio, Lord, show me my heart's desire and as she would go on in the song to sing lord you are what my heart desire and god knows i desire him to be filled with him with all knowledge and spirit and i do bless his wonderful name i do love the lord unapologetically i adore him i worship him and as a pastor bonner would say I love for him to touch me as only he can. And I do bless his name. I do certainly give honor to each and every one that has been uh, a part of this uh, wonderful presentation today. I'm telling you, my heart is just overwhelmed. Uh, certainly we want to honor my assistant pastors, amen, Elder Kelsey Mack and to Elder Donna Dana who preached a dynamic message today expecting to receive the blessings of God in 2020. God bless you, Ella Dana, for a dynamic word. Amen. Certainly to uh, their wives and to my lovely wife, Shepherd Mother Smith, and to all the wonderful people of God. I am just so overwhelmed. I don't know words just can express. And when they began to show the various one with greetings, I was just uh, just stupefied when I saw my presiding apostle, Apostle Clark, appear on the screen. And I don't know if you're listening now, sir, but I want you to know how much I appreciate you being a part of these activities and services that they really bless my heart. And then to see my mentor, uh, my great friend and brother, amen, Apostle Wilbur Jones, come on the screen. I thank God for that man of God in such a special way because I know it was through him that God touched my heart in a very special way and gave me a special uh, inclination within my spirit and in my heart for the work of the ministry. And as he would say, David, is all of, it's all about souls and more souls. That's exactly what it's about. God bless you, Apostle Jones. 
and to my regional apostle, Apostle Walter Lee Jackson. God bless you, sir. Thank God for your prayers and your support and your and just your uplifting words and for being the friend and brother that we have been for a great number of years. And we certainly thank God for. And uh, as you have said in the past, all I want is an opportunity to serve. And I thank God for the privilege and opportunity to have served in such a great uh, service in the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank God for the wonderful opportunity. I certainly also want to thank God for my good friend and brother, the mayor of our great city of Orangeburg, Bishop Michael Butler, and for your presentation, my brother, God bless you, sir. Really, really appreciate it, amen. And to my brother-in-laws that gave presentation, Bishop Willica Wright uh, uh, of New York, uh, Northern Diocese there, amen. And to my brother-in-law, Bishop Charles and Lady Faye Wright for their presentation, Pastor of Red Refuge, Temple, our mother church. We certainly thank God for them, great men of God who have proven to be examples of faith to me as a younger brother-in-law, and I certainly thank God for them. I want to say God, a special thanks to the Lord for my sister-in-law, amen, uh, uh, Mother Ernestine Wright that appeared on the greetings. Uh, mother Wright, God bless you. Uh, her husband, the late Bishop uh, Wayman Wright, my brother-in-law, who I love very dearly, and thank God for him as I know he's resting with the Lord, but I thank God for Mother Wright, amen, Mother Ernestine, as she told me some time ago, she said, David, stay focused. And I want you to know, Mother Wright, if you're listening, that I'm staying focused by the grace of God. And I, I, I'm just appreciative. All the other bishops, Bishop uh, Myers, and, uh, and uh, praising the Bishop Reed, my good friend and brother, Amen. That uh, appeared on the program, Bishop Richard and Lady Johnson. And I'm going to stop calling names. I wrote them down, but it got to be so many. <laughs> I would just really just um, uh, um, praise the Lord. Amen. This just really overwhelm all the district elders and their presentation. God bless for District Elder John Mosley as we continue to pray for you, my brother, in the loss of your, your dear daughter. Our prayers are with you. Thank God for your presenting and we love you very dearly and want you to know that we're here for you and thank god for the beautiful words by district elder jimmy bradley i really appreciate you because those words resonate very true people don't care how much you know until they know how much you do care and thank god for the caring people of god district elder young and my son in, in the gospel district elder jeremiah williams and lady williams i just thank god for you a bishop uh, Silas uh, Myers of Apostolic Doctrine and others. I'm going to stop calling names because I'm going to uh, just miss somebody. But I want you to know all of you that made presentations. Our church mother, amen, Mother uh, Inez Dunning, amen, uh, uh, Mother um, Dorothy Payne and others, all of my children, uh, my goddaughter. And we just bless the Lord. Just we're just tremendously blessed about all of you and the words of greetings that you made toward me. And I, I bless God for the ministry that God had blessed me with. And uh, I thank God for my lovely wife and for uh, the woman of God that she has been. Thank God that she is independent. And I thank God for her. I wouldn't want her to be any other way. Sometimes I do tell us it'll be quiet. But thank God she's always been that woman that had the will and the, and the desire to tell me what, amen, um, uh, I needed to know, amen, unafraid to do it, amen, with the desire that I would be the best person that I can be, and I really appreciate that. Thank God for the love that she's shown me and the support, the prayers that she has shown me, amen, example to uh, the women of God that she has been. And as I listened to Lady Cheryl Pollock making presentations, and then she almost looked through the screen at Mother Smith and said, I love you. And, 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 and for the example that you've been in District Elder Charles Pollock and for, I thank God for them in a very special way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for the people, uh, our District Elder Robert Garrett and his lovely wife, amen, uh, Lady Nadine Garrett and just everyone that made presentations, District Elder Harold and elect Lady Ruth Young. We just bless God for all of you, amen, and the love that you've shown toward 
of both Shepherd Mother Smith and myself. Amen. And as I have sat down here uh, in this my living room today to make this presentation, amen. Uh, and and uh, we bless the Lord and we do praise God uh, for our being here. Uh, and as I sit down in my chair and I begin to glance around the room, my eyes went to one direction and then fell on a portrait of our sis late sister Laverne Harmon and her family. And my heart just swelled within my chest. As I remember over 30, a little over 34 years ago, Mother Smith and Sister Sandy Wright Myself and Sister Laverne Harmon sit down to a table in my wife's daycare and I begin to share, and we'll try not to share tears. And, uh, and I began to share with them the vision and the burden that God had laid upon my heart to begin a ministry called Beulah Day of Pentecost. And they made their commitment to the ministry then at that moment. And so did then Brother Kelsey Mack later, a few days later. But I'll never forget Sister Laverne Harmon sitting across the table from me as I take my work as a pastor very, very seriously. I guard my pulpit with all the energy of my heart. And I'll never forget Sister Harmon looking across that table from me and pointing her finger in my face without batting her eye, looking directly into my eye. And she said these words to me. She said, I trust you with my soul. Oh God, words never resonated within my spirit like those words. Even I've read that scripture in the book of Hebrews many times, but I never heard it like that until I heard it that day. And I still hear it in my spirit. And the members of the congregation and our pastor trust me with this. So pastors, we have undertaken an awesome responsibility that we stand as God's under shepherd to his people. Whatever you do, don't take that test for granted. Don't take it lightly. God said, I will give you shepherds after my own heart. And I pray God that I've been not perfect, but I pray God I've been a shepherd of the God's own heart to God's people. And I want you to know that I love you all. I'm here for you both, Shepherd Mother Smith and myself. I thank God for Apostle Wilbur Jones because I learned to call Mother Smith, Shepherd Mother Smith from him as he called his wife, Mother Sandra Jones, Mother Smith's first cousin, Shepherd Mother Jones. And those words, stuck in my spirit because that's exactly what a good pastor's wife is. She shares the burden of the ministry. She shares the burden of his heart. It is her arms that he lies in and share his pains and his tears. And it is her prayers in secret that upholds him and prays for him and prays for God people as she says she does. And I bless God for her, Shepherd Mother Smith, my wife, the love of my heart, the mother of my children, the grandmother of my grandchildren, and one whom I know God gave and as I did her. I know he saved her for me, and I bless God for her, and I thank God for her. Thank God, amen. And as I said, she ain't no yes woman. She ain't, she ain't no little mindless person. She has no problem telling me when she think I'm wrong about something and giving her opinion of what is right. And I thank God for it in the, because it has helped me make godly decisions throughout the years. And we bless the Lord. Pray for us. Pray for us that as we grow old or we'll grow old or sweeter together in the work of the Lord, that we'll stand together and never allow the enemy, adversary, to separate us from the work that we know that God assigned our hands to do. And that we will be proved faithful servants to God's people. God bless you all. I want to thank God for our, um, our uh, uh, 
Pastor Zay, committee chairman, Sister Leticia Mitchell, and all those that labor along with her. We appreciate you so much, daughter, for all of you. And we bless God. And again, I want to say special thanks to my presiding apostle, Apostle Clark, for appearing on, on, on the uh, program today. Our prayers are certainly with you, Apostle Clark, if you listen. And we certainly continue to pray for our uh, mother, Shirley Lorraine Clark, the blessings of the Lord will be upon her. Let's keep all of our members in our prayers. Those are Sister Mary Huggins and her family in a very special way and others whom we may know that may be under the under the attack of the adversary, that we know that our God, amen, is the able God, and we do bless his wonderful. And love you dearly, both Shepherd Mother Smith and myself. And remember, I, as I told you, if somebody came up to you today and tell you that Mother and Bishop Smith don't love you, take them by the hand and say, let's go see Mother and Bishop. And I guarantee you, they're going to turn your hand loose because we love you dearly in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And again, thank you so much. I, I am just overwhelmed. I have to preach a little bit actually right now. And we do bless the Lord. We love you dearly in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Keep each other as the apple of your eyes. You pray, amen, for one another in Jesus' name. And stay safe in this COVID-19 pandemic. God bless you. Back in the hands of our sister Mitchell, I believe. God bless you. Thank you again so much. Love you. Very special day and um, special thanks, um, like our pastor said, to all those who have um, made this day special for Bishop and Mother Smith. We appreciate you. We love you. We thank you for taking out your time to even do that. And thank you for um, everyone, the staff, my staff, everybody um, helped to bring this together. Indeed, I could not do it without you. So now I'm going to um, turn it in the hands of um, our sister Simpson for um, our announcements. And I wish you a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Stay encouraged. Right. God bless you. We're going to bring you to the end. This has been a, a supernatural day. <laughs> I tell you, this has been one day that I will long remember. And as Shepherd Mother Smith said, we probably saw more today than we would have if we had had a beautiful running over at the brim with people. Amen. Just from uh, Bishop uh, Apostle James I. Clark all the way down to my brother, my, my brothers, my older brothers. And my, my brother Jack uh, Durham uh, from Virginia, and my brother Charles Donise, uh, as I call him, uh, Smith uh, from California, 
and my dear sister Sherry Giles and her husband Joseph, Elder Joseph Giles uh, from Columbia. I am just happy and delighted, amen, for them being on the presentation. And I was just so surprised to see Don and, and Jack. Uh, you know, I kind of expected Sherry to show up uh, pretty soon, but when I saw Donnie's, uh, I was just overwhelmed, and, and my brother Jack, it just it took it to the top, and I want to thank God again, all of you, for what you contributed to this wonderful program today. Again, I want to thank God for Ella Dana and for a dynamic word uh, from the Lord from him, expecting to receive the blessings in 2020. What God does is his prerogative as sovereign God, but it is our responsibility to ask and believe. James says, you have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask amiss. What I ask God, what I anticipate, I expect for him to do. What he does is his sovereign will as sovereign God. God bless you. Love you dearly in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look to the Lord and receive benediction. Gracious God, our Father, I am reminded of your words that behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Lord, we're not able to physically touch each other, each other as we would like to, but certainly what a blessing it is to be able to touch in the spirit. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty and there is unity. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the words of encouragement from various ones, great men of God and women of God who have shared their hearts and their prayers for both my wife and myself and for the ministry that you place to our charge. I want to give you thanks for them, Father, for I believe every word that everyone said to be from the depths of their hearts. And I thank you. Keep us together, Lord, whether we're in New York or in Florida or in Columbia or in Orangeburg wherever uh, in California or wherever it is we may be Lord, that we will stay under the shadow of your wings and they are by safely and now gracious God as we prepare to, to depart from one another from this segment of our portions of service keep us Lord safe in your care and help us Lord at that time that will come that we'll be able to come together here on this earth in the sanctuary, but wherever it we may be, Lord, that we will give glory and honor unto your wonderful name. It is these blessings and all others that we ask in the name, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all say amen. God bless and keep you is my prayer.